Hello! As you could probably guess from the title of the video, today I'm doing a full face of new products. Some of them are new launches and some of them are just new to me. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Let's get into it. I'm going to start trying the Summer Fridays Vitamin C Serum. Feels very silky, hydrating. It absorbs quite fast and it's comfortable on the skin. I like it. Now I'm going to try the Summer Fridays Mineral SPF. I'm very excited about this one. I've heard great things. It has a very milky texture and it applies beautifully. I would say it's similar to the serum, not in the texture, but in the way it performs. It applies so easily and absorbs quite quickly as well. It would be difficult to tell if it was a chemical or a mineral sunscreen if it was not the bottle. Like, this feels really nice. Now I have a couple of primers. Both are from Laura Mercier. This one's more mattifying and this one's just like a protecting primer. And I'm going to go with this one just because I want a little bit more radiance in the face. It's definitely left my skin glowing, so I like that. I don't usually reach for primers, but I like these type of primers that are almost like a skincare. I like this one. Okay, so for the base, I also have two options. This one's from Summer Freddy's as well, and this one's from Rosie. I might just use this one because we use a couple of products from Summer Freddy's, so I use this one another time. This one's very interesting. Texture, it's so weird. The texture is very, very watery. It has these particles inside which break down and mix with this watery thing. It makes it very lightweight, very easy to apply. It looked a little bit like too dark for me. It's actually so sheer that it works like it actually looks fine with my body. Actually, my face is a little bit lighter than my body. Definitely zero coverage, just like a some tint. It's so nice. Like you can still see all my blemishes or everything. You can still see that. Something is not working. I have a little bit of peeling here. Okay, I don't have any new concealers to try. So I'm going to use my favorite combo. Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS Full Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty Let me just do this real quick Now for the brows, I'm going to try the Refi Brow Sculpt I actually tried this one the other day and it's really good, like it really holds my brows. But sometimes I have like some flakiness or something, like small pieces of the glue. Sometimes I don't, so I don't really understand. Like, but the hold of this brow gel is, it's just, it's so, so good, like insane. If you have very stubborn eyebrows, I would really give this a try. It gets the hold, it's honestly insane. I do have to say that you will feel your eyebrows stick to your face. So if you don't like that feeling, maybe skip this one. You get used to it like really quick. But just in case, putting that out there. Okay, let's move on. For bronzer, I'm going to use this one from Pixie. I'm very excited about this one. I haven't tried it yet, just swatched on my arm. I do like this. Let's see how easy it is to apply. This one's really nice. The applicator makes it very easy. Swipe, swipe and blend and then it blends out so easily. You can easily use this as bronzer and blush at the same time. But yeah, I really, really like it. I think it's great for summer. I have this blush as well, but I have other options. I have this one from Laura Mercier and the color just screaming to me. But I also have this one from Yancy. Wait, I have another one from the body shop. Like a lip and cheek tint. I do have tried this one. So now I'm debating. Oh. 
well now that i have both here i might just put both <laughs> let's do an ombre kind of blush this one first oh. wow i love this color definitely dries down like very quickly so it's a little bit difficult to apply the one from unc on the other hand it, it blends out so easily you have more play time with it so it's easier to use in terms of colors i think i prefer the one from laura mercier uh but i think both are stunning i don't have any new powders to use so to use my trusty Huda beauty powder For the eyes, I'm going to use the new YSL Couture Mini Clash. I haven't touched this one yet, so I'm very excited. Straight from the palette, it has insane pigment. Shadows are so soft and fine. It makes it so easy to blend. It just took me like 30 seconds to do this eye look. The packaging is like squishy. So nice. Okay, I don't have any new mascaras, so I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Yeet Lashes Mascara. I feel like every product that I trust the most is from Huda Beauty. Like, honestly, it, they are just so good. So, anyways, this has like a double end. This is curl and length. And this one's volume. For highlighter, I have this one from Chin London. Shimmery Balm. Oh, it's so nice. It's kind of balmy. You can actually use it on your lips as well. And then leave this jewelry finish that it's so stunning. It also smells so nice. I want to eat it. Oh my goodness. Okay, last but not least, I have these four new Vib lipsticks. Look at the packages. It feels very very comfortable it has a satin finish i don't love the applicator like it's very round and big and makes it a little bit difficult if you are not wearing a lip liner but overall it's a very nice lipstick yeah it's nice okay this is the final look using all new products there are definitely some that i like more than others but overall i think it, it was a very successful makeup day so yeah i will leave all the products linked down in the description below you can always comment and ask me if you have any questions regarding products or anything i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe and all that thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye